a little taste of Paris has come to France Avenue. Mm -hmm. Shane Wells joins us from the uh, creperie using traditional recipes for sweet and savory crepes. Well, this might be my new obsession, watching people make crepes or crepe. I want to say it correctly, and we have Claire Covizier with us, and you are, well, you're French. Yes. <laughs> this is your shop. Yes. You know the recipes and how to say it all, so walk us through it. How should we be saying it? Crepe, French crepe. Crepe, yes. Okay. But um, whatever way you decide to say it is going to be fine. <laughs> but we say this is a creperie, and, and we make uh, French crepes. Oh, yes. you make it sound yes. so much more romantic than me talking about it, so we're just going to let you do all that. Okay, walk us through this. This is actually a location a lot of people are familiar with because it was the very first caribou, yeah. famously. Now it's oh crepe. Yes. Okay, how did you end up in this spot and wanting to open a crepe? Yeah, I mean, so opening a crepe has always been my dream. Um, and I I knew I wanted it to be in a special neighborhood. So I think having the right location was important to me. And when the spot opened up, once caribou, when I heard yeah. caribou was leaving, um, I thought this would be a really perfect spot for, for us. It's a small space, and I really actually love that. It feels cozy, and um, so that's, yeah. And where you grew up is important to what we're making here, because you grew up in the, like, birthplace of crepes. Correct, yes. So I grew up in Brittany, France, Bretagne, and that's where crepes originated. So I grew up, you know, eating crepes uh, at crêperies all the time, at farmer's market. You see crepes everywhere. It's uh, kind of all over the towns in Bretagne. And so it's a huge part of my heritage and culture, and I wanted to share that with Minnesota. So these are traditional. Yes. I did not realize, and maybe I should have, that, that there are different recipes for the actual crepe itself, depending on savory or sweet. Correct, yes. So our savory crepes, we actually in Bretagne call them galettes and they are made with buckwheat flour. So um, traditionally it's just buckwheat and water. And then our sweet crepes are made with wheat flour, eggs and milk. So more what you think about when you think about crepes, that's their sweet crepes is what. And what are we putting inside of them? Yeah. Lots There's a lot of options things. here, I know, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, <laughs> So I, we actually have a fairly small menu. I wanted to keep it small because it's a small space. There's an art to this too. Yeah, like this, no, not everybody can walk up and just. No, walk it takes a, a lot of training actually. <laughs> uh, we, it takes a lot of training, and it's always fun to uh, to just watch the team grow into their role because the first is they don't think <laughs> they're gonna make it, and then it takes them a few hours of practice and. Now look at them, they just oh, do a really good job. Yeah. This is a great spot too, because we're getting to oversee. Yeah, I wanted made. a bar sitting for that reason, so people could watch the magic happen. <laughs> well, we appreciate your time and showing us how this magic does happen. If you want to come, maybe get away to France on France Avenue. Oh, Crepe is located at 44th in France. They are open Wednesday through Monday. Back to you. Yeah, a little bit of France here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Crepe. Clever. Very, very clever. Well done. Mm -hmm. And you made a good point mm -hmm. on France Avenue. It just makes sense. It really does. It just kind of dovetails together.